In video part 1 for diagnosing and identifying a faulty speed sensor, we found that the wheel speed sensor was at fault. In most cases, replacing a faulty wheel speed sensor with a new one will be enough to complete the repair. So if that works for you, great. You don't have to watch this video. Your car is good to go now. But in a few cases, you might have more problems than just one wheel speed sensor. If your car is getting older, there's a chance that your ESC module will start to wear and break down. If your ESC goes bad, even with a new speed sensor replaced, you'll still get codes and lights on the dashboard. No amount of clearing codes will fix the issue there. So if that's the case for you, this video might help you diagnose a faulty ESC module. Automotive for beginners. There, 14, 24, this one, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, even 18 is dead. 18 got fried. 19 is next. 19. 19 is fried. 18 is 18 is fried. 20. 20. 21. 22. Three and twenty four. there you go if you got a bad ESC module causing problems with your speed sensor now you know how to diagnose it as far as pin 18 goes I can only theorize that it was allowing the left front speed sensor to operate due to the short we found in the first video since the ESC module was at fault it tells me there was a connection problem with the terminals inside the unit it's possible that pin 18 shifted locations and was shorting out with another power source. 
This is his only explanation as to how the left front sensor wasn't showing any codes. And we know that pin 19 was dead and left rear sensor was toast as well, which is still the correct diagnosis. The great thing about replacing the ESC module to get your speed sensor running again is that you get much more benefits doing this repair. Not only do you get a working speed sensor again, you could also increase gas mileage by up to 50%, shift faster by 30 kilometers an hour sooner, and you get better braking by swapping out the ESC. So if you want to see how well a new ESC module performs, link will be down below. It will also have the step-by-step -step repair video. And if you want to learn how to diagnose electrical problems from a master technician, there will also be another link below. Make sure to subscribe, like, Automotive for Beginners, and we'll see you in the next one.